Hey there, Gemini Cancer Cusper. Thank you so much for tuning into your April reading. Um, welcome to Divine Conversations. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? So, all right, we're just going to jump on into this. Um, uh, but first, I do want to mention that I am I'm doing a mini uh, freestyle reading for you guys. And if you're familiar with my channel, then you know what my freestyle readings are. If not, just continue and just continue to watch and you will see. Okay, I'm just going to jump right into this. Um, I have your pre-shuffle energies here. And it's interesting because I was sitting here trying to, I took a moment to just connect with your energies, Gemini Cancer. And I'm going to be honest with you. The Gemini section of this is feeling so aggressive right now. Um, it was coming through in the Taurus Gemini reading, and now it's coming through in the Gemini Cancer reading. Um, for you guys, though, there is definitely a level of emotion that's getting involved here, that's making things a little, that's making it just feel a little more vicious, a little more cutting, a little more cutthroat. You do have Cancerian energy here with the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is your overall energy in the pre-shuffle, all right? So what I'm getting with this is emotions are very much at the forefront here. Emotion, the way you feel right now or whatever it is you're feeling through right now is absolutely di the direct cause of whatever action you are taking in your life. Okay, let's look at the rest of these free pre-shuffle energies. The first card up on the on the pile on the pile that fell out was the Six of Pentacles, and what I'm feeling like here is a lack of reciprocity. Um, someone may have been super emotionally manipulative here. Okay, um, but ultimately, I really feel like this vicious energy is definitely coming through with this King of Swords here. Um, look, cut to the chase, cut to the quick, cut the bullshit. Let's call a spade a spade. All right, like, like I really do. I feel like cancer. You're, or can't. I'm sorry. <sighs> Interesting. I want to speak to it from this, from the realm of the Cancerian energy because that is, that is what's driving you right now. It's your feelings. It's how you've been made to feel. Is what I just heard. And so it's like you're taking all of the facts as they stand. You're looking at them. You're being responsible, and you're taking action. In terms of that, let's call a spade a spade and let's chop the bullshit between justice and the king of swords. Let's talk, let's cut the bullshit. And actually, the Cancerian energy is also coming through here in terms of you might actually be looking at yourself or feeling a, some type of way about yourself for even allowing this to happen. Part of that is coming through with this King of Cups energy of taking emotional responsibility here, all right? But ultimately, you're cutting away any sort of unrequited love or, or boredom or something that was not reciprocated or something that was not accepted. Maybe you were the one... Maybe you were one that was coming forward here with your heart um, on your sleeve and giving to the circumstance, and they were not giving back in return four of cups and or, or not or rejecting the offer or not offer or not taking it and then you know it's like whatever okay fine you want to act like that or you want to do me like that that's fine i'm just going to cut you out and i'm going to go towards what it is that i want the star and as you're going through i'm going to be honest guys as you're going towards what i'm feeling here is what as you're moving forward towards whatever that you want there is a level of animosity there is a level of resentment it, but i feel like you're taking that and it's like you're it's kind of it's kind of spiteful it's spiteful, not in a completely negative way, because ultimately it's got you moving forward away from a negative circumstance or away from an abusive or toxic or ungiving circumstance or unreciprocal circumstance. But I am going to be honest, there is a level of spite here. And that's most likely coming through from the Cancerian side. <laughs> Okay, but you do have the king and the queen of cups there. So I do feel like, hey, divine counterparts, we could be talking divine counterparts. Oh, yeah, we could be talking divine counterparts, the devil. Um, Capricorn energy as well, but toxicity, okay? And it's the balance between the masculine and feminine within you that, um, seven of cups, okay, that's allowing you to move forward. There is some uncertainty here. I am feeling like an energy of, look, I don't know what it is I'm going towards or what it is I'm going to find on the, like, like what's going to happen here, but damn it, I'm moving. I'm going. I'm doing this and you're not going to stop me. But there's a little bit of that spiteful energy too. Ultimately, it's serving you. It's serving you in, in a positive way. Just at, at this point, it is. Don't go too far. Don't go overboard with that spite. Like literally, don't, don't, don't really literally cut off your nose to spite your face. Like you don't want to, you don't want to lose any of yourself here. All right. You want to 
as you're moving forward, you want to take as much as yourself with you as you can intact, right? All right. Cool. Okay, so Cancer, Gemini, Gemini, Cancer, Cuspers, let's see what your official reading has for you. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Gemini Cancer Cuspers at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved for the month of April 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm giving this five shuffles. You know, I just really feel like the energies of Gemini and the energies are can of Cancer are really flowing very well together right now. Um, I, I feel like I feel like you might be getting along with yourself very, very well, or at least you're in a strong sense of agreement with yourself in terms of what's been going on around you and the changes that you need to make in your life. Okay, and it might be an energy, maybe this is specifically for some of you out there, but for some of you that have actually been at odds with yourself for the longest time, whether it's just overall throughout your life or on this one topic or whatever it is we're discussing here in this moment, if you've been at odds with yourself in the past, I don't feel like that's the case now. I feel like you're very much uh, on your own page or on, this, on your own side this time. <laughs> Oh, goodness. This is four. And something's wrong with my, my thumb's doing something weird today. And this is five. For my Gemini Cancer Cuthbers. All right, cool. Let's see what we've got. Boop. All right. <clears throat> Overall energy for you guys. We have the four of swords. Okay. So I'm going to need you to chill for a second. All right, just simmer down. <laughs> Take it down a notch, okay? There could I, I I understand you're feeling motivated, you're feeling hurt, you're you're pissed off, whatever, but don't get carried away. All right? You you need to take some time and I really kind of feel like some of you need a time out because your emotions are really starting to get over the top. Maybe they're starting to overwhelm you, or maybe you're just allowing them to be too, you're being too lax with your emotional boundaries or um, how much you allow yourself to really get fired up here. And so I feel like you're needing to take a break. You're needing to rest. Oh, jeez. You're, you're needing to do something about that. Underneath the Four of Swords is the Page of Wands. Okay, so you're going through a re-identification process. Um, I feel like you are new... You are newly um, inspired towards something. Um, I just, I heard newly renovated. That's interesting. Maybe you you have a newly renovated space, a newly renovated house, office, um, or you yourself could be newly renovated, like internally. And it could be that from the eyes or from the, 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 the view of this new you, you're recognizing all of the things that have hurt you in the past and you're getting really fired up about it. But you don't need to. You just need to chill and rest because now that you're aware of it, you can change it. Underneath the Page of Wands is the Four of Pentacles. Woo! Underneath the Four of Pentacles is the Three of <sighs> Swords. Yikes. But check it out. I, th I feel like you... Uh, okay, this is, a, this is a little bit of a difficult energy for me to speak to right now because I do feel a hell of a lot of stubbornness here. Um, and again, it's like... It is spiteful to a certain extent, and that could easily slip into a really negative situation for you um, more than the negativity that you seem to be rising from the ashes from. Um, but you're moving forward from a place of pain, which, I mean, isn't ideal, but ultimately also at the same time, we're not, we're not trying to tell you to just like stay where you are, stay in one pace and, place and wallow in your, your sorrow. All right, so it's good that you're moving forward in some way. And I would definitely utilize this energy, this aggressive energy, I guess we could call it, to, to your advantage, you know, transmute it and, and um, redirect it towards moving forward, okay? Um, 
But with this Three of Swords energy at the root of the situation or at the bo very bottom of the, of the deck for you, the last card of your overall energy, I really do feel like this is confirmation that whatever heartbreaking energy you've been dealing with or have dealt with recently is what's propelling you forward. Um, I don't feel like you're going to be changing your mind or changing your opinion about anything anytime soon. You're going through... <clears throat> You're going through a re-identification process. You're entering a new level of, of, of commitment is what I'm hearing, but this commitment is mostly with yourself. Not committing to another, not committing to the whims of another, because that is just what led you here to begin with. Someone is, I mean, there is such a stubborn energy here, um, and I'm not going to tell you that you're wrong for that. I'm, what I do want to say is that you have every reason to be stubborn right now because you're doing what's right for you and you're not going to let anything stand in your way. You're not going to let anything hold you back. Just be careful of that spiteful energy, okay? Let's move forward. First set of surrounding energies for you, my dear uh, Virgo. No, whoa, hold on. Why, how did I go from Taurus to Virgo? I'm not even doing those. I'm going Gemini Cancer. You might be, you might have Taurus in your chart, 1111. You might be dealing with a Taurus. You might have Virgo in your chart. You might be vir dealing with a Virgo. Who knows? Okay. First set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini Cancer Cusper, you got justice, man. Justice is coming out for just about everybody. All right. And you do share that Gemini energy. And I just did the Taurus Gemini Cusper reading and justice came out for them. So you might want to watch that. That might that really might resonate with you. You might want to watch the Taurus readings. You might also want to watch the Virgo readings. Um, but justice is being served here. There's no way of there. There's no way around it. There's no other way of putting it. Justice is being served here. And I kind of feel like you're sitting on the sidelines watching the universe dole out this karmic justice with your arms crossed, just pissed. Just pissed. It's almost as if there is nothing, there isn't enough justice in the world to satisfy you right now. And I keep hearing the word comeuppance. You might want to watch the Twin Flame reading that I did um, titled For the Divine Masculine. It was comeuppance. Um... Yeah, you might want to do that. Justice is coupled with the Five of Wands. I, you know, I almost feel like, guys, there is a level of vicious viciousness here that I do not advise you feed into any longer. Because again, I just feel like someone is sitting here watching someone get some sort of karmic retribution. Okay, and it might be, you know, it might be par for the course. It might be perfectly, perfectly justified, perfectly balanced, but you being in your spiteful or angry energy are kind of like wishing more on them or wishing that they got more or why isn't it more extreme, blah, whatnot. And that's just not necessary, okay? Take that energy. Stop worrying so much about what's going on or what karmic justice someone else is getting and start really continue focusing on your own self. So that's why I'm saying take this spiteful energy and redirect it. Use it as fuel. Transmute it into fuel to drive you forward towards, what, to, towards something new or at least just away from this, right? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Ge Gemini, Cancer, Cusper. You have, look, there you go. There you are, Gem uh, Cancer. With the chariot energy, you're moving forward here. Ain't nothing going to stop you. You have a sense of balance and grounding and fortitude. It's going to help you move forward. I am picking up specifically that some of you, you have, you are very, very clear on what it is you want, what it is you're moving towards, what it is you're moving away from. Maybe one of those things or a combination of, of all of them. Okay. It's Ge uh, Gemini Cancer Cusper. You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about being derailed again. You don't have to worry about this person or this same circumstance coming up, coming back and like trying to, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about anything other than your own self. All right. The chariot is coupled with the star. See, because you're, you are, here's the star again. You're moving towards your happiness, your wish fulfillment, or your healing. You are moving on. I, I just feel like some of you are are still still stewing over what happened in the past. And okay, I get it, especially if it's a pretty fresh wound. All right, I understand. But ultimately, that's not really going to serve you. Try not to stay in that for longer than is necessary. 
Okay. Your challenge. Yeah. Wanting to ride in and fuck some shit up. Wanting to chop heads off. Wanting to. Ooh. Whoa. Wanting to rip someone f limb by limb. Wanting to. to, to uh, rip someone a new, a new asshole. Like that kind of. Be careful. It's not worth it. It's not necessary. It, if, if you do that, you are only opening yourself up to your own sense of karmic retribution. Do not go looking for a fight. Okay? Be very, very careful. Knight of Swords is coupled with. What did I tell you? The Five of Swords is nothing, nothing good is going to come from you trying to make someone else's life any more hell than the universe has deemed necessary. Period. You are only going to, five, 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 you are only going to sabotage yourself in the end. All right. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Gemini Cancer Cusper, you got. Thank you. Look, just walk away, honey. Just walk away. Just walk away. I don't want to go any further. Just walk away. Eight of Cups is coupled with the Hierophant. Because you've learned your lesson here. And the Hierophant has act is actually asking you to take the higher road here. To not stoop down to a lower vibrational energy just to make your ego feel better. Oh, no, 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 no. I promise you, I promise you, it is not worth it. Okay? Just walk away and walk away taking with you the lessons that you have learned and apply it to your future. Do not look back and say, well, I hope they get what's coming to them. Honey, that is none of your business. That ain't got nothing to do with you. You experienced what you needed to experience. You're coming out of it with the lessons that were necessary for you to learn. Just move on. Okay? For God's sakes, just move on. For the sake of your own self. For the sake of your own happiness. For the sake of getting far away from this fuckery. Just move on. Please. I'm, I don't know why I'm feeling like I need to beg this person. Stop. Stop interacting. Stop fighting. Stop sending the text messages. Stop engaging and just walk away. Please just walk away. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Let's close this out with your oracle guidance here. You're good, honey. I understand. I feel you arguing with me right now. You don't have to set any sort of record straight. They don't, know, they don't need to know the truth. You know why they don't, want to, they don't need to know the truth? Because they're fighting you tooth and nail. They're trying to discredit you. They're looking for you to stoop down and start throwing verbal daggers to give them a reason to continue fighting you. Just stop engaging. It's not worth it. Okay? Ooh. All right. Let's close out your reading here, guys with some oracle guidance from the unicorns. All right, here we go. Oracle guidance from my Gemini Cancer Cuspers. Gemini Cancer Cuspers, Gemini Cancer Cuspers. Miracles, aw, oh, isn't that cute? Have faith that your miracle is on the way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how, and look at that. You've got growth here as well with past lives at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so some of you are doing some karmic ancestral healing, sure. Released your past life karma. You are an old soul with deep wisdom. Healing your past lives will raise your vibration, and I feel like that is something that some of you have been dealing with, past life karmic energy for sure, okay? Which might be why this is so difficult for you to, to, to deal with, to handle. Makes perfect sense, okay? But you do have miracles here. Have faith that your miracle is on the way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how, honey. You do not need to look back and take stock in how things are handling, how things are being handled by the universe on behalf of these other people that hurt you. You don't. That is just taking your focus and your energy away from what it is you are, in fact, moving towards. Okay? Allow the universe to do its, to do its thing. 
And finally, you have growth. Seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. But I feel like this is immense growth for you. Like, this is some big time shifts that are happening for you right now. There is such growth here. And just the fact that you can actually look back on the situation, feel the anger, feel the spite brewing in you, but take the advice of not allowing yourself to slip into that when you may have in the past, girl, boy, that is some serious growth. Congratulations. You've passed the test. Now continue forward. Don't go back. Continue forward. Okay. I love you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again, most likely for our reading for the month of May. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.